out everyone this is Mopod and welcome back to my green screen in Minecraft 1.12 tutorial we are currently in snapshot 17w06a for Minecraft 1.12 and as you can see behind me there is a whole lot of green this is a new block added these are the concrete blocks if we get out of f1 here there are a whole ton of them down here every single color so depending on what you want to save maybe you want to change the background color it does not have to be green but it's very simple how it works. You can see I have it all set up already. You really just want to create a box. And everything that you block off in the back here is going to be able to be removed once we get to editing. So like this, all you will see is my uh, character like this. And all of the green behind it will be removed. So once you have a clip that has everything in it. And you could even actually, let's go like this. And I could, let's go out of F1 and place something here. That works so that I could even keep in the frame like that and it would not be an issue if we get out like that. And then we're going to go ahead and pop over to recording software so we can actually deal with the footage that we've just taken. Before we pop over, if you've got something that looks like this with all the shadows in the corner, pretty simple to remove here. When I do this, I like to go options, video settings, turn graphics to fast and then smooth lighting to completely off where I had it on maximum before. And if we go back to it, you'll see it looks like just how I did it in the intro. A lot smoother colors, not a lot of blending, and it makes it much easier to remove if you're looking for something really, really specific. Okay, so for this, I use Sony Vegas Movie Studio 13. Awesome software, really helpful, and also pretty easy to use. So anyway, here's the clip that I just recorded with me standing in front of the green screen. I've also brought in a picture. This will also work with a video, but we're going to want to come down to the timeline here. I'm going to click Insert Video Track, like so, and then we're going to pull it right like this we're going to put the green screen on the top video track and then i'm actually just going to delete the audio track really don't need that for uh this purpose and then we're going to take the background i'm going to put it behind here and then extend it to the full length that should be good i'm actually just going to cut it off right about here right before i bring in that blue block so let's uh let's go with something like that and then i will click split and also on the bottom it also split that so we're going to delete both of those so they are at the even i'm scrolling up to zoom in like this and now you can see I've got both of them like this however one's layered over the other we can't quite see through yet so we're going to right click on the top clip and then go to video event event effects it's going to take a little bit it's going to pop up with a whole bunch of stuff and we're going to come down here and click chroma keyer and that's automatically going to remove uh, a default color set to blue so right now it's got that lapis block and we want to change that color you can pick up the dropper like this to select that we're going to click this and there it goes. You're going to have to play around with it a little bit in order to get it right. Maybe I could have chosen something better than blue because blue goes into green. But you can change the threshold here. So if we bring that up, you can see now I start to disappear. If we bring it back down, I come back in. And then if we bring the high threshold back down, the uh, other stuff starts to come back in as well. You might have to play around with this and add a couple of different layers to it. Let's drop it right about there. Then we can go ahead and plug in chain to add another one. So chroma keyer like so hit uh, okay and then this one same thing we're going to click the color the dropper and then we're going to get rid of this color kind of that murky yellowish color that's left over again kind of play at the threshold and try to get something that's good if i pull that way down you can see i start to come back into view still getting a little bit on the sides here so plenty of those uh, and you will be able to get rid of it so mine was kind of sloppy for the tutorial but you know you get the idea it works pretty cool if we get rid of that it's not going to look the greatest when we play this but let's come up to here right before I place it. So let's come back maybe there. Nope, a little bit further. Let's go back to the start, actually. So it's not placed yet, and if we hit play, then it's going to go through it. And yeah, you can see. So I didn't do the best job, but you get how it works because I was kind of moving the camera around and stuff. You can see it did add in that extra object. So pretty cool how this works. Can be pretty helpful if you're doing some kind of machinima or something to that matter. But anyway, hope you all have enjoyed. Go and subscribe for more, and I'll see you all next time.